My name is Adrian Nanchev and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest upload. Now what are the most important things to learn? I've come to realise there's that two major key things to learn. One is knowledge in general and this is broken down into like language and communication then your general skills like reading, writing, things like that and then into more specific areas of knowledge into your field and your sector, you know, to specialise and to, be, to, be, to become a specialist and the other one to learn is to expand your comfort zone to expand your tenacity, to expand your daring, to expand your competence and willingness to do more things. So let's bring it back. So knowledge, language and communication skills, talking, grammar, vocabulary. Oh, vocabulary is a very, very important one, that is. Increase your language skills to be able to communicate better. You know, creative writing versus um, uh, uh, non-fiction or business writing, report writing, essays, things like that. But also talking or spoken language as well. Reading, writing, you know, the, the enunciations, the pronunciations, things like that. The more sophisticated your communication language is, the more you can better communicate your image, your idea, your mission, your your thing into the world. That's that's more or less number one in knowledge, and from there it's the general things in life: you know, health, wealth, love, and happiness, well-being, and things like that. You know, life, general things like life, diet or knowledge or how to live your life or you know what what's the best way to you know what's the best way to do things and then from there you want to specialize into what you want to be known for business wise writing finance wise entrepreneurship even if you're you know geologist you got to understand what archons are at the very least if you want to be a photographer you know you got to know what a cat's bum is or a composition or rule of 3 or tonal values, things like that. You know, you got to understand these things in detail, so as to be able to be, become an expertise and a specialist in it. And then, with your communication skills, you can then project that that that, that mission, that the thing you're working on, further. And you combine that with a little bit of marketing skills over here in, in the general knowledge bit area. You can then really take you can take it even further. So expand your knowledge. Always be learning. Always take new information in. You know, you don't want to be here in one day one. Um, by the end of that year, you know, day day three hundred and sixty five, you're gonna be in the same place. You wanna be here. And then three hundred and sixty five days later from this one, you wanna be even higher. And then each year you need to be higher and higher, grow and expand and grow and compound. Very important, compounding your knowledge. Not just growing but compounding, the exponential. The hockey curve, exponential, it's very important. Because you don't want to get left behind, you don't want to get stuck in the old ways. You know, as the world moves on, it's gonna leave you in the dust. It's not what you want. It is not what you want. The other one, and the other one to expand upon is your comfort zone, your tenacity. Because you see, you see, see, there's no point in having all this knowledge, like a tool belt, all these things, when you have no tenacity to act. Because without tenacity, the tools are not going to do anything. They're not going to go anywhere. You can't use them. And likewise, you got all this bravery to do stuff, but you got the wrong tools. You know, you're taking a knife to a gunfight, for example. You need the right tools and the tenacity to act. The comfort zone. You're going to learn to be. You've got to be learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You've got to learn to expand your comfort zone all the time. You've got to learn to do things you're not. You know, you know, you're unfamiliar with. And also, I've come to learn now. Um, you don't be frightened to do things you're not qualified to do. I wrote my first book about a year ago. Wait, it said, yeah, end of October I launched my first book, 2016. And thankfully I, didn't, thankfully I didn't come across this, but people would have said, you know, most people would have said, oh, why, why are you going to write a book? Your English isn't that good, or why are you going to write a book? You know, no one, no one in your family has written a book before. Well, why are you doing that? And if you let that kind of negativity drag you down, because your comfort zone is not strong enough to say, no, I'm going to keep going with it, you know, the, the tenacity, you know, <laughs> if you don't dare keep going with that, then you're going to miss out. Likewise, a few years ago, well, uh, November 2014, I, I used to, I started to learn about economics and finance and the you know, Bank of England and all these charts, supply and demand and equilibrium and stuff like that. 
and the basics of economics really, um, Austrian economics really, and someone told me, you know, why are you learning that stuff, or why, why are you saying you know this stuff, and you didn't go to university, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, and it's like, ah, it don't matter, just pick up a book, learn learn the basic stuff, like I said, there's language, then there's the general knowledge stuff, that, that was general knowledge, learn about economics, it's how the world works, so, ooh, you know, why not learn this stuff, you know, it's how the world works. Learn, take, read a few books, do a few courses, get a few like qualifications, so to speak, and then you know a little, you know a little bit more about it, and you know more than anyone else. Most people in the UK might do. I don't know, 50, 60, 80 percent, 90 percent more. So, well, very smart stuff. And so, but the, having that tenacity, or uh, not having the tenacity, likewise with the book, would would have would would have allowed myself to drag down and say, yeah, you're right, you know, I'm wrong. Not going to bother reading and learning this stuff, and it's like, well, really. So you need the tenacity to keep going and keep striving as well. And you've got to feed that that desire, that curiosity, that that like that that, that push, that ambition, and you've got to feed that with learning, with seeing, being with seeing new stuff, being exposed to new ways of life, new 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 things in the world and experiences. You know, not not just traveling, not just not just that. That's 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 cool good experiences, but there's more to it than that, there's, it, it's, it's, it's what happens in here as well, as well as, as well as in here, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, beyond, you know, you've got to keep learning in life. So my question to you, the question of the day to you is, which one do you need to work on? Comfort zone or tenacity? Me, I'd say, I'd say it's, um, um, no, which one do you need to work on, knowledge or comfort zone? To me, I'd say more now it's uh, it's knowledge. A few years ago, it was like, expanding the comfort zone, can I actually do this? Yes, I can. You know, it's, you get a lot of these things where it's like, um, you know, um, you can do it kind of stuff. You know, think and grow rich. Good good, good, good example. Um, that's a whole different kind of kettle of fish, but it's a good example of you can do this and self-belief and all that kind of stuff. And then it goes like, oh, how, how do I do it? I know I can do it, but now it's like, how do I do it? So for me, it's knowledge. Um, focusing down, mostly on financial stuff. I'm working on something at the moment, trying to slowly pivot into it. And it's like, yeah, let's do that. You know, how, how cool would that be? Uh, let's get the ball rolling on that. Uh, so for me, it's knowledge. Knowledge of economics, finance. Because it, because it's like, I realised I realized a few months ago, and slowly kind of sunk in, is that, but isn't it, like, the real like, the real money in life is at the top level financial kind of world, as opposed to the you know, as opposed to the the general entrepreneur or SMEs or things like that. You know, it's like a it's a pyramid really of wealth, and the great concentration of it is investors. You know, look, look at the Forbes 400, 70 of them, 70 of the 400 are investors, and it's like ah, they have their money working for them, they're having their money compounding and growing and being smart for them and it's like that's what we need to do so um so so just focusing on knowledge and economics and finances now but what about you what do you think you need to focus your time and energy on comment below i'm very curious very curious but in the meantime however I click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads because this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur how cool is that